A centennial celebration, the Tuskegee VA is celebrating its 100th anniversary. And today, a big event was held to mark that milestone. WSFA 12 News anchor Rosanna Smith with more from Macon County. The Tuskegee VA Hospital has supported those who served our country for 100 years. If you are a veteran, you deserve to have the best care possible. And that's what they said. That's what they said 100 years ago, and that's what we are saying today. Serving my country was a great uh, selfless service and act that I definitely don't regret. Army veteran Nikita Essex was one of hundreds who came out for the centennial celebration. Essex says she benefited greatly from the VA's whole health approach that focuses on all aspects of health and well-being. Working with uh, some of the VA therapists that I've had in the past and now being a part of the whole health um, take charge of my life experience. It's been inspiring. It's about allowing them to not only be around to be alive, but to truly live and to enjoy their life. Dr. Jennifer LaPointe, head of primary care for Cavus, says it's important to understand the special needs and challenges veterans face. We have people who were subject to blasts, IEDs. We have people who have been shot and we have people who have other less visible scars, especially PTSD. This is why she and the entire Cavus staff are committed to keeping every veteran as healthy as possible. The people here just have a wonderful community, um, and it's great to be a veteran being able to take care of other veterans. So the VA allows me the opportunity to work on myself and to become the best version of me. Now, this is a huge milestone. In 1923, the Tuskegee VA Hospital opened its doors as the first VA hospital to treat black veterans from around the country. Now, during today's ceremony, U.S. Secretary of Veterans Affairs Dennis McDonough said the hospital opened its doors to correct injustices among black veterans. This hospital was built to care for over 350,000 black veterans. One hospital, 350,000 veterans returning to segregation at the end of World War I. The first and only hospital of its kind in VA his history. The Tuskegee campus was the first VA facility in the nation to be administered by an all black medical staff. Appropriately enough, right? And Rosanna, a lot of people in this community have served or benefited from this facility. In fact, you have a personal connection. That's true, Mark. Yes, I have several family members uh, that worked at the VA hospital. Mm -hmm. My grandmother was a nurse there for over 30 years mm -hmm. in the 60s. My grandfather, great aunt and great grandfather also worked at the hospital. So you've got to think, I'm not the only one with a story similar to that. There are others in Tuskegee mm -hmm. who have generations who have worked at that hospital. Well, so many people have served our country that have gone through that hospital and all the VAs across the country. They serve such an important purpose. Our thanks not only to the veterans, but the people who staff those hospitals as well. Exactly. Rosanna, thank you for that. The Tuskegee VA is part of the Central Alabama Veterans Health Care System, which also has facilities in Montgomery.